Hi, I'm Adrian Salisbury, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Pretty cool, right? So in today's video, we're going to have a look at how you can do this really cool feature of writing on the screen or looking like you're writing on the screen here. It's really next level from using a whiteboard or a flip chart. You're going to need to have an iPad and ideally an Apple pen. You need to be on a Mac because we're going to use Ecamm Live. But if all of that fits for you, then let's get into this and let's have a look at how we put this together. So the first thing we need to consider here in terms of hardware, we've got an iPad, we need to get the signal from this coming into our computer. And yes, you could do it by sharing the screen, you could do it by USB, but because we wanna do this as a presentation and not have people looking at our entire screen, you're gonna to want to use HDMI. So we're going to have a converter like this that's just gonna go one end into the iPad and then give us a HDMI output. And then we attach our HDMI cable to it, just like that. Plug it into the iPad. And then at the other end of this HDMI cable, we're going to go into a HDMI converter that then plugs into the computer. Now, there are various ones. Cam links are the most popular, uh, but actually we've found that we've had a few glitches with some of these DERA models and this little 1799 uh, HDMI converter seems to be the one that is working the most reliably for us. So I recommend you get one of these. All of these bits we're gonna put links to in the description. And I should add that we've got a blog post running alongside this uh, where we're going to give you some free images and things to put the backgrounds in that you're going to need in a bit. But we'll tell you about that when we get to it. So let's plug the HDMI into this one. In my case, I'm needing to then convert a standard USB to a USB-C and uh, let's plug it in. Okay, so now let's come over to our computer, uh, open up Ecamm Live. If you haven't got it at the minute, you can take a 14 day trial out. We've got a link to it down below. Uh, fantastic bit of software for live streaming. And if you're on about doing these sort of presentations, whether it be through uh, Zoom or Blue Jeans or Facebook Live or wherever you wanna do this, uh, you can do this method here, but you need to be on a Mac and it needs to start here with Ecamm Live. So what we're going to do is start with a new scene. Um, just by clicking the plus here, we'll start with an absolutely clean slate. And let's call this right on screen. Now, if you want to know more about Ecamm, I've got a whole set of tutorials on the YouTube channel. Uh, do jump in there, have a look around all this. I'm gonna assume you're knowing what you're doing with Ecamm and uh, just get into it. So the way this works, I want myself to be the background as you can see it there. And then what I wanna do is bring in the feed from my iPad as an overlay. And uh, so because we've plugged this in via HDMI, Ecamm is now going to see this. Look, notice up here, this is my cam link input. USB camera is what it's called uh, with the little converter that I've got. If I wanted to check up here under camera, there it is USB. And uh, just to prove it's coming through, there's my desktop there uh, coming through from that. So I know it's there and uh, we can jump over now and have a look at our iPad. So you can do this in Keynote. We've put some description as to how you can do that if that's your preference on the blog. I just found Keynote to be very limited with the pen choice, uh, the, the effects and the way you can work with it. I would much rather use this GoodNotes. I just went out and bought it. I think it was $7.99, uh, definitely worth it. So I'm gonna open up GoodNote here and let's come into this and we're going to say we want to create a new document and what I've done for you, as I say, we need to have a green background and GoodNote doesn't let you change the color from kind of white, cream and black backgrounds. So we've been off and we've made a little PDF for you that is the right size 16 by nine to fit this. And we've actually done a 10 page one. So have a look on the blog post. You can see it there. You can just click it and download it. And then it will say in here to import. Then what do we want to import? Downloaded this as green screen, 10 page. And there we go. So it's now just brought me in with the green background. And if you see as I wipe across here, 
It'll change these pages up. I'll show you why I've done that in a minute. Uh, so now that's brought in our green background. So before we go over to Ecamm, let me just show you a few things over here. Where you want to come right at the top here is this pen tool. And then look, it brings up this palette along the top of all the things that you can do with your pen. Um, what I've got mine in at the minute is in this presentation mode up here under share, I've got mirror entire screen because I'm recording it right now. So I want you to see everything. What we're going to do at the end when we want to actually share this or what you need to do is to put it into mirror presenter page and then the audience aren't seeing the tabs and the toolbars around it. They're just seeing the page itself. Then we're going to come under here to our pen. Again, totally down to your preference. I've gone for the fountain pen. Play around with this if you want. Haven't seen a big difference in the sharpness on here. Pressure sensitivity is more to do with how it goes wider and narrower as you write on it. This palm rejection, I'm left-handed, so I've set it this way around, but you can choose which way you want to be using your pen and uh, it will just try to eliminate you leaning on the page then definitely got to do this with a white pen in order for this to really work well with the green screen uh, you, you need to have white now if white's going to be a problem for your background we'll talk about that in just a minute but uh, come and choose down here the white one FF 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 is the hex code that it means it's pure white okay so make sure we've picked that and then choosing our pen size is the next bit along uh, again, have a play with this and see what works. We've got a full page here and, and what we're going to do is fill this whole area in front of us. So we'll get over to this, shall we? So make sure you're on your new scene. And what we're going to do is in the overlays tab, we're going to select a new video overlay and it comes in like this over the front. This is a fairly new feature. You might not have seen this. We can select in here which camera we want and we're going to select the USB and then our aspect ratio, you should be able to set this to wide and it's going to fill the whole screen on here. So let's leave it as that. Bear in mind, as I said, that uh, mine at the minute is sharing my whole window with you. So I push it up here to the top and I bring it right down and uh, I've set that so that has filled that whole window. So yours won't look like this. When I change this to presenter, yours should look like this. Okay, if you find there's a little bit of a border in here, then just on your iPad itself, just squeeze it because it might just be that it wants to go to the edge of it or you can move it around a little bit um, with your fingers on the iPad itself. So now we've got this green one. Uh, not a lot of good to us. So open up camera effects in Ecamm and make sure that you aren't working on the camera that's behind, which is you, but you need to be working on this one. Then if you hit green screen, look, it's gone and it's defaulted to the brick background. And uh, then we're going to say transparent. And here I am underneath it. So really important you get that right. Your fade level may well be right up here bring the fade level right down to zero. Uh, that's just a bit of tolerance in case your green isn't quite right, but we know we've got a perfect green on here. Another little setting that I would encourage you to do, because we want our white to come through really white, I would scroll down to your picture settings. It may be tucked like this, just click on it. And I would actually take your brightness all the way up and your saturation I would bring all the way down. What we found when we were testing this out is that if you're doing this over a lighter background, as you're writing on with the white, there's a little bit of a yellow edge to it or a colored edge to it. So by taking the saturation, we've got rid of the yellow and it's, it's going black and white, so it's gone to its white. And then because we've pushed the brightness up, um, yeah, it's just working. So there's a little, little tip there for you. Now, shall we have a look what this looks like? So. I can now write onto my screen here, and if I write up here, hello, there it comes on the screen in front of me. Uh, so I, I could be drawing on here, I can be doing all these sort of things. There are some really nice features in this that if, for instance, I were doing boxes and I hold the pen tool at the end, it snaps to a really nice clean shape. So if you were wanting to be able to uh, I don't know, do things like this to your audience. It'll just, <laughs> you need a bit of practice with it, but um, it comes through looking really good. Now, notice that if I've been a bit faint on the iPad, it comes through a bit pixelated, like just there. A couple of things you could do. Firstly, take that pen size up so it's thicker, because it definitely is better when you've got a thicker edge to it. Um, the other thing you can do, again, pinching and zooming on here, is look, I can actually zoom right in on this, 
And uh, that might be a nice, you might like this idea of you almost could be, I'm just moving with two fingers along here. And then uh, it means because I'm zoomed in closer, it means my pen tool is bigger. And what I should show you as well, what I'm doing right up there near that pen tool is an eraser tool. And I've set that up on its biggest size. So I can just go over the screen like this and uh, knock things out. Go back to my pen tool. Try again. Uh, so what do we think to that? Not bad, eh? And uh, really good effect. Now I've got a nice background behind me, a nice dark background. If maybe you'd got a brighter thing going on behind you and you were saying this really isn't working for me. Another way that we can do this is if we come back into our overlays, um, again, we've made this available on the blog page, but I've given you there a semi-transparent uh, background. So if you drop this up here into the overlays, you will see there, notice in this overlay area, the higher it is, it, it takes priority. It becomes closer to the, the camera, if you like. So if I'm putting this over here and um, my writing as well is also being covered by it, I don't want that. I want the green screen to be at the top and then we'll rename it for you. Um, but it just now gives me this 50%. It, it was a navy background. We've taken it down by 50%. Uh, so it just means if you'd got a background, you could be doing this. And it actually means then that it wouldn't matter. Again, remember, watch as I'm with two fingers on my iPad. I, I don't want to get to the edge, to the boundary of this, but I, I can potentially now sort of pinch even further and just push that out the way. It means I can actually write here if I want, right over the front of myself. Um, you know, if, if, if I were doing these kind of diagrams and explaining how things work, uh, it, it can be there right over the front of me if I prefer that look. If you want to change your pen styles around, you know, go practice, explore this, but you don't need a fountain pen. It could be one of these other pens um, that will just give a consistent size underneath it rather than this fountain pen effect. Uh, again, have a play with it. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, let us know how you're getting on with it. Um, remember again, you can just use that eraser. You can be hitting undo. Or what I should just have done there, uh, this is exactly why we gave you 10 pages, is because what I can do is pull this back down again so we can see the full page. Uh, imagine we've done this, I've been in a presentation and uh, I'm doing my big um, explanation as to you know how, how to set up a, I don't know, let's think it might be a, a funnel that we're setting up down here for instance, and we're telling people how to get something set up. Rather than deleting all this off, maybe you want to keep these notes. So all I've got to do is slide across now and I've got another page and I've got a blank canvas to start again. Uh, so now here we go again and we're on page two. I can just wipe across with one finger and I've got page three. Remember, I can pinch that in. I can bring that down. Okay, so have a play with that and uh, let us know how you get on. Uh, I think that's a really nifty feature. I'm just going to take that uh, wash off of there so it comes back to what I'd got before. Hopefully that makes sense. Please let me know in the comments if it doesn't. Can you think of any other uses for this? But uh, maybe an artist, you know, <laughs> if you'd line this up, if you knew where your pen tool was going to be, you know, maybe you can be... Uh, doing these kind of things and yeah see look I'm, <laughs> I'm way off on that. Um, can you tell that I'm not an artist? <laughs> I don't know lots of things I'm sure over to a new page and uh, so put all that into your uh, scene there in Ecamm and uh, it'll be there when you come back just double check that you've got your cameras all lined up. So when you have a go at this, please, if you want to go and get another green image, green screen image, uh, do make sure that it is the correct colors. It wants to be 00FF00 as a hex number. Uh, that's why we've created that PDF made it available to you. You don't have to give us an email or anything like that. Just download the thing and uh, let us know how you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Please give us a thumbs up if you did. Be sure to subscribe. We've got a whole channel full of Ecamm videos, video tutorials, all of the great stuff like that. And if you want help getting going with your video to be able to record to this kind of quality, then please come and join us in our Pro Video Academy. Again, links are all down there below. Thanks so much. See you soon.